Welcome to week six. This week we're going to be learning about um, bringing instruments to your classroom and introducing your small students to what an instrument is, the types of instruments, the names of instruments, what they sound like, all of those fun things. And this first lesson that I have to show you is instrument three-part card matching. Three-part cards are a fantastic way to introduce vocabulary to your students. And it is also, even if they're not reading, they're still matching. So I'll give you a lesson on how to do three-part card instrument matching. Okay, first you need to know about the three-part cards. There are three parts, that's in the name. This is the name card. This has the picture and the name. And this is just the picture, no name. And this is just the name, no picture. And the reason we have those three is because we're developing our students' visual acuity. We want their eyes to be trained to notice the patterns within words and to be able to match. I want my children, even if they're not reading, to notice, oh, there's a T and an I and an M and a P and an A and an I, an N and an I. And so even though they can't sound out the word timpani, they can still notice, oh, there's an I at the end of that word. There's an I at the end of this word. There's a T at the beginning. I see a P in the middle. This lo word looks like this. That is developing visual acuity and it's pre-reading, it's pre-literacy. So even when you're teaching music, you're teaching language. It's wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to lay out my three-part cards. I lay out my name cards first. And I say the names as I lay them out. Timpani, trombone, violin, trumpet, flute, bassoon, oboe, cello, clarinet, <clears throat> tuba, grand piano, French horn. Okay, I've laid out all of my name cards and you can see that I've given space between one row and the other. That's because now we need to match our other cards. I might scooch these closer together. Maybe I'll put this down here. These are in no particular order. Okay, that looks a little more symmetrical. <laughs> All right, so now I'll get out my matching cards and I will match. Timpani. Trombone, violin, trumpet, flute, bassoon. Oh, and here they're out of order, which is great actually. So this is not in order, therefore I would look. I'm showing the child. Look with your eyes. Let's see. There we go, cello. And we start over here. I've got my whole top row matched with my picture cards, so now I'm going to be matching these. Clarinet. That is the right one. No. Yes. No. Yes. French horn. There's a tuba, but it's upside down. Okay, and I discovered today that I am missing my oboe card. So I will, what I will do is I will um, go to my color printer and I will make a color copy of that and laminate it so that I don't have a missing one when I present it to the children. But it is missing right now. <laughs> okay, now here's my labels. And if I were showing this to the child, I would put them out of order on purpose so that I can show them how to use my visual acuity to see. Oh, that does not match. That's not a match. Let's see, not a match. I would go through each and every one 
and show not a match, not a match. <gasps> There's a match, French horn. This is a French horn. Trombone. No, that's not a match. <gasps> There's a match. And timpani. Again, I'm kind of going a little bit fast. I would go slower with my students. And I always start, go from left to right, top to bottom. Again, that's another pre-reading. It's um, something that we do, we don't call attention to it, but we, we just do that with our actions to get the children's eyes ready to read. Left to right, bassoon. No, and look, you can see how the child would be looking. Oh, I see a B in there, but no, that's not the right word. Not the right word. And here it is. I put it below its picture when the picture is there. And here I'm looking for cello. No, 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 no. Yes, we look at the word and see, is it a match? It is a match. <clears throat> and we keep going, we match our clarinet, we match our tuba, and grand piano. Now, even if it, the child is not writing yet, you might say, hey, do you wanna write down your favorite three instruments? Which ones are your favorite? And you could even have them draw a picture and then write the names. That's the end of instrument three-part card matching.